Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKIT Support. So today we will see how we can back up the configuration of distributed switch which is also called VDS. Okay? And it is important that uh, if you want to take the backup or we want to restore the configuration of distributed switch, we need to log into the vSphere web client. From there we can do that. So I will show you how we can do that. Okay? So for that I need to go to uh, the vCenter then I need to go to networking okay so you can see I have created uh, the DV switch uh, these are my DV switch right and this is my port group okay okay let me select this this is my DV switch and these are my port groups which I have created okay so let's say I am picking up a port group which is called lab VM okay so now uh, let's say um, in the set uh, in the manage settings section in the policies I'm changing some policy okay so let's say I will change the VLAN type so I will go to edit okay and I will select VLAN from none I will change it to VLAN okay let's say VLAN 1 and I will click OK so you can see the task is running so after some time the task get completed okay so the task is completed now I will drag it down and I can see the VLAN type is being changed from none to VLAN and the VLAN ID is 1 okay so let's say um, whatever the changes I have done uh, I need to really uh, take a backup of it okay so this is the change which I have uh, made as an if any uh, changes made in future, uh, I just I, I, I can really restore it from my backup. Okay. To take the backup, what I need to do is I will select my DB switch. I will go to actions. Then I will go to all vCenter actions. Okay. Then there will be an option called export configuration. Okay. I will click that. So it will give me an option like distributed switch and port groups uh, taking the export uh, these uh, options okay so I can choose any of them I'm choosing distributed switch and all port groups okay I will click OK so it will export the configuration and now it is giving me that the distributed switch configuration has been exported successfully do you want to save the exported file I would say yes okay so let's say uh, I've already taken a backup so let's say uh, this is a new backup I will make it as new backup okay I will say so great uh, we have done the uh, backup now we have exported the configuration let's say I will go to the lab VM port again I will do some more changes okay so I'll go to the VLAN I will pick it as none okay and I will click OK so you can see the task is running okay so now it is completed so if I drag it down you can see the VLAN type is none so this is uh, probably uh, some cases that there is some misconfiguration happen and you are not sure that what, what exactly the changes have been made so now I can do the restoration uh, from my last uh, backup which I have exported okay to retain the changes which I've done so for that I will go to the DB switch again I will go to the actions all vCenter action and I will do it from restore configuration okay so it is asking me to give the file path let's say I will go to the browse and pick the new backup this is my backup file okay click open and restore distributed switches and all four groups okay I will click next and finish so you can see the task is running and once the task is completed my restoration has been complete okay so you can see the, I have already successfully done it okay so let's go to the lab VM port group again and this is the policy so I will drag it down and see the changes has been correctly made or not okay so that's great so whatever the changes we have done that's been showing up now okay so this is how we can take the backup of VDS 
and also we can restore VDS okay so we are able to do the configuration restore successfully so thanks a lot watching for this particular video do like this video and subscribe my channel to check out more videos thank you very much